Madeline, Rainy Day Activities by Creative Wonders, released in 1998. This is based on the hit cartoon and the characters created by Ludwig Bemelemans. <laughs> but if one thing that made me smile about this was Madeline's voice. Oh, look at all the rain! We cannot go outside today, but there are many fun and exciting things we can do right here in my room! Now, if I met anyone who talked like this, I would be happy for the entire conversation, no matter what we were talking about. What outfit would you wear these cat eyeglasses with? <laughs> now, Madeline has had a few voices over the years. This game uses the voice of Tracy Lee Smythe, who did the voice of the 1993 series of Madeline. And a neat video game related note, Tracy Lee's voice also appeared in the Double Dragon cartoon, so pretty cool. So I've played a lot of games that are influenced by those old activity books, but this one really takes it to its core as a blueprint. There's a create your own story uh, called Silly Stories. Now, there are several versions of this where you fill in the blanks to create your own story. Now you would think more word options would be better, but the uh, limited choices forces you to make some pretty nonsensical things, which is always fun. It's too bad though Madeline didn't narrate your finished story with her uh, awesome voice. Now no activity book is complete without connecting the dots. You'll start from the number one and draw a line to the two and then the three and so on. Pretty much until the outline of the object is drawn and you can see what it is. The coloring books are loaded with lots of options, fill buckets, paint brushes, and adding text. There's a stamper there too where you can place pre-made images into your scene. And I also discovered that you can make the fill bucket to kind of delete the pre-made scenes and create your own Madeline story. So here's one I made. This is a uh, Madeline battling the sea slug king of the Atlantic Ocean. Now her leg gets caught, but uh, don't worry, in my story she wins. And here's Madeline on the shoulder of a Cyclops lumberjack titan. You can imagine her giving him advice with her sweet voice, and if you mess with Madeline, you gotta go through him. You can make up some door signs and posters to hang on your wall, and make some silly masks for yourself to wear. There's also a puzzle game where you rotate pieces to match the picture, and these black and white type things always hurt my eyes. Ah. There's also a matching game with a few levels of difficulty and there's a lot of categories to choose from. Now this keeps it a little more interesting than a lot of those other matching games out there but yeah it's still a matching game. The Madeline trivia area also has a large variety in it too. From learning about different languages, symbols for the holidays, and being quizzed on your favorite fairy tales. In the story of Rumpelstiltskin, what was the miller's daughter forced to spin into gold? Chewing gum! So the title of this game, uh, Madeline Rainy Day Activities, perfectly sums this whole thing up. A collection of activities to play on a rainy day. I can't say there's any false advertising there. It's a nice collection and the option for the printable games to play to get your kid away from the computer, it's always great to see that. I'm pretty sure there's some people out there who have good memories of this one. Thanks for watching.